it is time consuming, but it's a very popular program <laughs> to do the SAT practice testing. And like I said, these are just two that I know of. I'm sure there's many others out there. And they were just talking about library exchange program. Yeah. And I think that you would benefit from that. I mean, it was just like, oh, wow. Students would benefit from That's this. actually what I was thinking of. I could just spend, you know, a couple of hours in each library, you know, and, and see, um, you know, where, uh, you know, if, what would be a fit, you know. So again, it's another way to market. So if you have your, especially if you're working for a university or something like that, it's always a good idea to find out what, what the prevailing uh, attitudes are. You suddenly offer your patrons some type of new technology, some type of new media, some new toy, that all of them are not already going to know how to play with it, how to use it. So I teamed up with two of the LCC Level 6 student uh, professors or instructors over the summer and proposed this idea to them. I already do instruction. Um, is there a way that I can um, do this instruction test with them and then assess the papers? Because although I've done instruction with them in the past, I didn't know the result of anything that I had done. I'm a, just an enthusiastic type people, and I have the energy, and I feel like I'm energized to do things, and I like to collaborate, I like to work with people. But it's just not enough. Okay, it's truly not enough. Whenever you want to do something, have a vision what the outcome will be like. So which is best for your library? A little quick show of hands. Who, who says mobile website? Who says mobile application? No one. Okay, who says both? Um, some excited people. Neither? No, neither. <laughs> <laughs> They're very interactive. So, um, I don't know, how do you see the book changing in ways aside from this, in, in different ways, adapting and evolving? Anything? That type of thing isn't even that big of a change. Yes, somebody reading you the actual book, but pushing buttons and making sounds. That's like the old Scooby-Doo books where you just turn the page and has a picture of the Scooby-Doo mystery machine on there, and you push it and like honks. That's just like a newer version of that. So. Smoking.